do okay. Good morning. Morning. Let's pray. Jesus, thank you for your word to us. Continue filling us with your Holy Spirit. We might hear your voice speaking to our hearts today. Amen. Okay. Who has a favourite food? I think they love to eat. Ali does. Ali does. Ali, what's your favourite food? Chicken. Chicken. Good choice. Okay. Who has a least favourite food? A food that oh, they don't want to eat, that they hate, they cannot stand. Okay, Ali, what's your least favourite food? Egg. Egg. Ali hates egg. DJ? Uh, which one? Which one? That's a Indian dish. Okay, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that one, I'll just take your word for it. Ketchup, <laughs> what's your least favourite? Porridge. porridge. Okay, no, the porridge. Okay. So, when I was little, there were some foods my mum would give me. And I. Oh. Like uh, liver or kidney, um, spinach, just cabbage. Ah! So, Joshua, what food do you not like? Your mommy never gives you food you don't like. That's amazing. God, who has a food they don't like who is, who is still at school? Hasty, what do you not? What could you not eat? If someone gives it to you, no, it's not happening. They've not had it yet. They've not had it yet. They've not had a food that's so revolting they can't eat it. I know if you see Ali's face when someone hands her some eggs, and Ali wants to be polite, she's like, oh, "Thank you." <laughs> Ali is very polite. Ali will always eat it. Okay, so. Joshua. So I've got here some cold spinach. Okay? Oh, it's just okay, it's all mushy and it's dribbly and watery, okay? Are you ready to eat some cold spinach? Yeah? <laughs> He's nodding. This is good. Okay. Can you get out my cold spinach? You show everyone what's in my bag. You can show them what you've got. Okay, what have you found? Turn around. Show everyone. <laughs> okay, so we don't have spinach. What have we got, Joshua? It's sweets. <laughs> Just... <laughs> He's waiting for the trick. They are genuinely <laughs> sweet. <laughs> and so, and the reason we have sweets. Can you, I'll open the bag in a second. If you imagine the disciples, I will come back here for a second, and then Joshua, you'll have to help. The women now go to the tomb. They are expecting to see something that will make them cry again. They're expecting the worst thing in the world. Their friend, their Lord, the one they were following, has been nailed to a cross. They have seen him dead taken down and then put inside the grave. And they're going to put the spices so his body doesn't smell. They are going to look in the grave and they are expecting to be so sad. And yet they get there and instead of spinach, there is chocolate. <laughs> instead of death, there is life. There is an angel. And he says, Jesus is not here. Go and see him. And they turn around and Oops. there is Jesus. <laughs> and suddenly they're like, they just, they don't know what to do. So they grab onto Jesus' feet. And, and he says, don't hold on to me. Go tell the others that I'm here. Go, go, go. And so they run and they tell everyone else, Jesus is alive. So I've tried to replicate that change of uh, from death to life, with spinach to sweets. <laughs> so 
So now my question is, how do we share these apps? That's the tricky bit. I'm all, I've always found sharing the hardest thing. So, what are we going to do, Joshua? We're going to play a game. Okay, you can help me or you can play the game. <laughs> Joshua sees where the chocolate is. <laughs> okay. Now, to so play this game, if you're able, you need to stand up. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do it without standing up, but if you want to sweep, you need to stand up. If you physically can't stand up, that's okay, you can do it from where you are. Everyone else, what do you think? <laughs> Come on. I'm driving you people. <laughs> okay, so, the way this is going to work, okay, Joshua, you guard these, make sure no one takes one until they're, they're meant to have one. Okay. So, what you need to do, I have here a coin, okay, because it's even, it's fair, it's, I'm going to toss it, I'm going to flip it over, it will land either with the queen's head or the tail. So you have to decide, is it going to be a head or is it going to be a tail? If you think it's a head, put your hands on your head, if you think it would be a tail, Put your hands where your tail would be. <laughs> <laughs> so just what you think. Heads or tails? Okay, put your hands on your heads then. Hands on your heads. Okay, right, are you ready? It's a head. Yeah. So, okay, anyone who has that hand, hand down here, sit down. I appreciate it, honestly. Okay, so we don't get any sweets. So, everyone? Who is standing up? Remember, you have you get one sweet. Okay. Okay. Next one. You choose again. Heads or tails. Okay. Put your hand one place on the other. A head or a tail. It's tails. Oh. And all with that, like, damn it. Okay. So now, so those people you get, you get one chocolate. Everyone who is still standing, you're going to get two. Okay. So now you choose again. Heads or tails. Okay. It's tails. Oh, yeah. oh, so you're up to three sweets. Even my queen. Okay. Are you ready? Choose again. Heads or tails? It's tails. Oh. So, three sweets for them. Santa gets four sweets. Okay. Who, who was it who lost the first time? Who did Who is not getting in on it? Okay. Does this feel fair to you? Yeah, you're happy? My <laughs> thing's like, yeah, well, <laughs> it's the way life goes, isn't it, really? Oh, okay, that's not fair. Some have nothing. That's not okay. Okay, so I'll do another thing. Okay. So, I'll tell you what. If you are under the age of 11, okay, put your hand up. Okay, right. So you get you get one sweet. Okay, remember what have to hold one finger. Oh, absolutely. Okay, so you have one. Okay, if you are over the age of sixty-five, put your hand up. Okay, you get three sweets. Okay, uh, if you are. If you're a man, put your hand up. Yes, <laughs> you get two sweets. Uh, okay, so keep, keep count. And if you count, if you're in more than one group, you get more than one sweet. Okay, let's do um, Okay, if you have passed an exam in the last five years, put your hand up. Okay, you get five sweets. Okay. If you are born in this country, put your hand up. Okay, the baby male says you have to have two sweets. Well done. Okay. Uh, if you have had children, put your hand up. Ah, oh, so then you don't, this is not you. If you are a child, if you've had children, then you, you get eight sweets. Oh, oh you. Yeah, 
Children, by all means, go to your parents and say to them, I don't think you deserve eight sweets. <laughs> On your head be it. <laughs> okay. So, I don't know about you, neither thing for me makes me happy. The idea that by luck, we get the sweets or we don't get the sweets. Or because someone decides the men get the sweets, or the parents, or the old people. Who is deciding that? Why should I say who gets what? Our passage today said Jesus is alive. Jesus has come to give life. Not just to me and people who wear a bit of plastic like this. Not just uh, to people who were born Christian. Jesus has come to give life to everybody in the whole world. Okay, now Dr. Pat's wrong with you. Tabitha, on a week. Can you go take this to everybody? And make sure everybody gets a sweet. Because this is Easter, and Peter, who is friends with Jesus, who follow Jesus everywhere, he stands up in our reading and he says to people, we clearly see, I see that God has no favourites. If you are a child, God is not waiting until you are 18 before he will talk to you. If you are born in a different country, if you, English is not your first language, God loves you as much as everyone else. But my sermon will make less sense. I'm sorry. God's love is for everybody. And often as Christians, we go, God loves me. Yay, God loves me. Happy Easter. But the message of Easter is that God loves the world so much that he came and died on the cross. And so we share chocolate, we share sweets because there is joy, but the joy is for everybody. And we dare not decide who gets God's blessings and who does not get God's blessings. Because Jesus has no favourites and he has brought his life for everybody. Let's pray. Almighty God, we thank you that you have no favourites. We cannot uh, earn our place with you. We cannot buy life with you. It is not luck that we have life with you. It's by your kindness, your love. And we say thank you. Fill us again with your love and help us to share that love with everyone that we meet. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Let me just stop this.